Heavy ball, six pounds, light ball, half pound. Both same size, which ball is faster? Two. What is mass? Mass is a body of coherent matter, usually of indefinite shape and a considerable size. <laughs> what is weight? Weight is the effect of gravity on something with mass. No. What's inertia? Inertia is the desire for an object to keep doing what it's doing, like moving or staying still. Yeah. Can you measure inertia? Yes. Inertia is me measured by the weight of an object divided by the acceleration at which it falls. No. What is gravity? And a gravity is an attractive force between every pair of objects in the universe. Go ahead. What is acceleration? A rate at which an object changes its velocity. Go. What is force? Force is a push or pull on an object. Like that. <laughs> Rolling. What is the equation for weight? Weight, described as W, is the product of the mass of an object, or M, and the magnitude of the local gravitational, gravitational acceleration, or G, thus giving us W equals M times G. No. What is the equation for force? Force equals mass times acceleration. If you dropped a heavy ball on a light ball, which would experience a greater gravitational force? It would be the heavy ball due to the, due to the fact that Force is measured through mass times acceleration, and since the heavier ball has more mass, it would experience more force, as acceleration from gravity is a constant. Two. If you have two balls, each of the same size, but one weighs more, the one that's heavier has more mass because it's more dense, and in a perfect world, each will fall at the same rate when dropped from rest. Mr. Schmidt. If we dropped these balls from the roof, which one do you think would hit the ground first? The heavier one. Do you take into consideration that this ball is six pounds and the other one's only about half a pound? <laughs> yeah, this one. Why? This one's heavier. Why? Um, if we dropped these two balls, which one would hit the ground first? <laughs> this is six pounds, and this is a basketball, so half a pound. I want to say the basketball. Same time. Same mm. time? Yep. Why? Well, that one's six pounds and that one's only six Why the basketball? You want an answer for uh, me, too? Because it's more, it's a bigger, it's like, you know, it doesn't weigh as much, but it's a bigger. Okay. It's Mr. Boyer thing. I think Kennedy's right. <laughs> Gravitation down on the, each of the, the balls is the same. Hmm, interesting. The gravitational force is the same. Mm. Mm. Now, if we were to drop these two balls from the roof, which would fall or hit the ground first? They, they fall at the same time. Same time. <laughs> Why? Because the force of gravity is the same on both of them. Mm, they said the force of gravity was the same on both of them. It's the mm. amount of acceleration. Like they would both hit the same amount of speed. Mm, interesting. Okay. Go ahead. All right, drop the rest. Which ball is faster, the heavy ball or the light ball behind you? Drop from rest. Yep. Which, which will fall faster? Yeah, which will hit the ground You need to understand first. I do have a bio and science minor. So I'm going to say, I know that in a vacuum, that the, the theoretically they're supposed to drop the same. I'm still going to say they drop the same. Wow, vindication. <laughs> what a guy. He's a uh, gentleman I, and a scholar. I go to the nickname BGRS, which big guys are smart. Look at that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Radio. Did you miss it? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. That pretty good? Yeah. So to recap our event, why do objects fall with the same acceleration even if they have 
different masses. So if you take a ball, six kilogram ball and a one kilogram ball, which is kind of what we did in our experiment, they do not have the same mass. That's an obvious answer. No, they don't have the same mass. What about their weight? Well, if weight is mass times gravity, meaning mass uh, times the acceleration of gravity, then they don't have the same weight. This is the one everybody gets wrong. Do they have the same gravitational force? People think, yes, gravity pulls on both of them the same. That's not true because force, by Newton's second law, is mass times acceleration. If we're talking about the force of gravity, it'd be mass times the acceleration of gravity. So we see that they have different gravitational forces. That means gravity pulls more on the six kilogram ball than the one kilogram ball. So why do they fall with the same acceleration? Because if their forces are different, they should have different accelerations. Well, it has to do with this bad boy. This is one of the most important topics in physics of inertia, okay? The bigger, more heavier ball requires more force to get it going because it has a, a larger measure of inertia than the lighter ball. Therefore, the ratios of those two things will, will, will essentially be perfect and every object will fall at exactly the same acceleration if you disregard air resistance. <laughs> Yeah.